This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Courtney Johns with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. The Douglas County Health Department is already preparing for mass COVID-19 vaccines and has temporarily closed down their STD clinic. All staff in the department will be moved to help with vaccinations, but where does that leave STD testing in the county? Not only was this one of the county's busiest STD testing sites, but the entire county has seen some of the highest cases of STDs nationwide. The health department says due to staffing shortages, their hands were tied. Governor Ricketts says the vaccine is a light at the end of the tunnel, but we must be vigilant in slowing down the spread. Right now, 34% of hospital beds are available. 35% of ICU beds are available and 75% of ventilators are available. Just under 500 Nebraskans are currently hospitalized with the virus. Rigget says while hospitalizations have decreased, we must continue to take precautions. The governor says the general public will likely have to wait until April to get the vaccine. And I'm 3 News Now weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore with this weather update. After hitting the 50 degree mark in Omaha on Tuesday afternoon, our temperatures will be cooling off through this evening. We're also seeing a few clouds passing through. We'll see those partly cloudy skies as we go through tonight and throughout the day on Wednesday. Most of us will start off Wednesday morning in those mid to upper 20s once again, but it is still going to be a warm day for us. Already back into the low and mid 40s across most of the area by noon. And then many of us near or at 50 degrees. Some of us could even hit the mid 50s once again on Wednesday, even with a few more clouds around throughout part of the afternoon. Clouds then continue streaming in as we head into Wednesday night ahead of the next cold front that'll be arriving early Thursday morning. But tonight we're going to drop back down to about 28 degrees with those partly cloudy skies. Winds will be fairly light, only around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And temperatures over the next few days, well, they'll be dropping. Our uh, warm day on Wednesday then gives way to low 40s on Thursday, then low 30s on Friday. We will see much stronger northwest winds behind that cold front arriving on Thursday. Some of those winds gusting up to about 35 to 45 miles per hour. Some even 50 mile per hour wind gusts not out of the question. As we get into Thursday and Friday, though, some of that rain mixes into snow and we'll see snow on and off throughout the day on Friday. As we get into the weekend, a little bit drier, but still chilly with highs in the low 30s on Saturday. A little bit warmer than Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, with that gradual warming trend getting us back closer to 40 degrees by Tuesday. Bring home our cherry cheesecake holiday feast, a medium specialty pizza, a medium one topping, and a cherry cheesecake streusel. Happy holidays from our family to yours. Godfather's Pizza.